am I to blame for his affair? Um, if you're asking yourself that question right now, and this is a video that you wanted to watch because you are in that boat where you're either being blamed by your husband for the fact that he had an affair or you're blaming yourself. I want to unpack that a little bit and um, help us all gain some clarity on where responsibilities lie. So stay tuned. I hope that this um, will help you understand a little more on what you need to own and what he needs to own. Stay tuned. Okay, so I was in that boat uh, that you may be in right now. When I found out about the affair, we went through marriage counseling for a long time, actually. And in those sessions, somehow conversation would get back to, well, if she had, you know, had sex with me more, or if she wasn't so involved in her work, or if she wasn't so tired all the time, and if she spent more time with me or paid more attention, basically, it was this laundry list of ways in which I was not meeting his needs. I carried some blame for a while and it felt terrible um, until I realized something very important. And this is what I want to share with you. It is critical that we all have very healthy boundaries because here's what boundaries help us understand. And by the way, I have several videos on this channel about boundaries. Go back and watch them. Boundaries help us understand what we are responsible for and what we are not responsible for, okay? Every single person on this planet is responsible to other people, okay? So we're responsible to other people based on how we treat them, what we say to them, um, how we choose to step in and help them. We're responsible to other people, right? but we are not responsible for them. We're not responsible for how they think or for how they feel or for the choices they make. We are only responsible for our feelings, our thoughts and our choices. So I realized early on that I had very little, if any boundaries when it came to my husband. <clears throat> I tend to own a lot of, um, I tend to own a lot of things that don't belong to me. You know what I'm saying? So I want to help you understand if you're watching this and you are a betrayed wife who's owning things that don't belong to you, I want to help you let go of those things and be free. Because inside your boundary is only your role in the marriage. You do not have any authority, nor do you have power to control his choices. So he chose, okay, instead of finding a way to work with you to get your needs, his needs met within the marriage, or quite frankly, to make the choice to divorce you, if, 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 if it wasn't going to work, he made the choice instead to have an affair. He is 100% responsible for that choice. You, <clears throat> you are not responsible for that choice. The only thing you can do as his wife is to be the person that's involved in this boundary, manage your emotions, make good choices. You're responsible to him for how you speak to him, how you treat him, the things you choose to do with him. Everything that's within your boundary, you have power over, but you actually have zero power over him when it comes to the choices he makes. He makes those choices. He is 100% responsible for those choices. So if you are sitting here right now, just feeling like, had I been a better wife, had I been skinnier, had I been prettier, had I been sexier, had I had sex with him more often or whatever, I want to go ahead and, and, and help you just put that down. Because you are carrying something that doesn't belong to you. It's not yours to carry. 
you could not have done anything to stop him from making the choice he made because you don't have that power. And I invite you, seriously, invite your husband to watch this. If he is trying to put the blame on you, I want you to understand that basic concept. We are responsible to people, not for them. His actions are 100% his. You carry absolutely no blame in that. Okay? However, I'm going to take this a step further to address what I think we may be feeling. And that is our acknowledgement that we could have behaved differently. We could have made different choices. We could have done things differently as wives. I get that. I made a lot of changes in myself because I recognized some unhealthy behaviors. This whole experience made me look in the mirror, which quite frankly really sucked. It was hard, but I did it. And I'm so glad I did. I'm a different woman today because I looked in the mirror, okay? So yes, if we are trying to work on our marriage, we're trying to heal the marriage, we're trying to move forward in a healthy way, and we want a healthy marriage on the other side of this, we do have work to do on ourselves. Now, if you just found out about this affair like four days ago or four weeks ago, you're not ready for this. Just pack this somewhere and, and work on it later. Once we're ready, once we've gotten through the initial trauma and the healing phases and we're, we're into or partway through at least our grief process, then we're ready to buckle down and go, okay, what can I be working on with me right now to help me create a healthier marriage on the other side of this? Because that's really where our power lies, right? That's the only power we have right now. It's what we choose to do, how we think about it, how we feel about it. That's in our boundary. So work with someone, and I'm a master certified coach. I'd love a chance to work with you. I work on my on this kind of thing with my clients all the time. But um, Seriously, work with someone, take a long, hard look at yourself, start journaling, really explore. And the things that your husband has said, let's take, you know, the scenario of maybe, uh, you know, you're, you're too involved with the kids. You spend more time with the kids than you do with me. So maybe he's feeling neglected. I think that's valid to look at that. Okay, well, what does that look like? What does he mean by that? Have honest conversations without being defensive and find out what those things are that really troubled him so much and do what you can to change it, to um, to do, do better. Uh, schedule your time more intentionally. Um, you know, prioritize your marriage over your kids. That should be a whole other video I do. Um, our kids are very important, obviously. I have two of them myself, but I've got two grown kids now. They're both adults. Trust me, you want to prioritize your marriage because one day you'll have adult children and your marriage will suffer if you don't prioritize your marriage. So look at, look at what you need to change and then work on those things. And then together in marriage counseling or whatever you choose to do together, you guys start moving forward in a healthy way. He's working on the stuff in his boundary. You're working on the stuff in your boundary and you're going along side by side towards something healthier. But please, my dear friend, do not carry what doesn't belong to you. You could not, you don't have the power to make him do anything. He made that choice willingly. He did, he did it himself. Don't carry the responsibility for his choices. Okay carry what belongs to you. That includes what you do next, what you say next, how you feel, what you think, and what any choice you make moving forward is going to look like, okay? I hope this has helped unpack a little bit of this concept for you. Uh, again, I'm a master certified coach. I'd love a chance to work with you, but I do have some freebies down, down below. So check out the links. Uh, join our Facebook group. It's a fabulous group of women only. Um, and uh, it's a very safe place, or I, I do my best to keep it safe. And uh, just come and share your story with us and let us support one another. Um, the free materials below are for you. And uh, the first link will um, give you a very, very helpful, and I highly encourage a free video um, that's going to walk you through some important concepts in, in a fair recovery just to help get you 
um, where you need to be. And, and there'll be information on there about how to contact me if you'd like a free session with me just to talk through things, see where you are and how I could possibly plug in and help you. Um, but if you like this video and you like others on the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Remember, you are only responsible to him, not for him. Okay, say that over and over in your mind. I am responsible to him, not for him.